Wishing I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs as I write it down for real. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene Honey. If it's your first time here, welcome. I want to share with you guys five tips for happiness, and this is part of my morning routine. This is something you want to do if you're having a bad day and you want to turn it around. <laughs> Sometimes we don't have time to do all of these things, but this is super healing to you. It's good for your mental health. It's part of self-care. And so it's going to have you feel instantly happy. And they're really simple things that we can do. So I want to share with you my morning routine. You guys, today my day started around 5 a.m. And I had it planned out one way. Well, it definitely didn't go that way and my whole energy was thrown off. I had to shift my plans around and it really put me in a really bad mood. And so that's why I wanted to create this for you because there's a way to shift it around. You know, life is going to happen and sometimes you have to just roll with it. You have to flow with life. So here are five tips that can tap you into a higher vibration so that you can feel better and feel good taking care of yourself so just stay on the right path and be in a good energy so the first tip that i have for you is warmth get out into the sun literally get out of the house and into the sunlight because that is what is going to help raise your vibration right away the sun is going to kiss your skin it's saying good rising and it's the light of day right so the day has started and it wants to greet you go outside into nature just simply come out of your house and if this means you're sitting on your patio if this means you can go take a walk if you can go to the park but let the sun kiss your skin warm you up and it's gonna instantly help you feel a little bit better. You're gonna be like, what was I worried about? What was I upset about? Oh no, I'm alive. Like, it's a beautiful day. And where I live, it gets so hot. Like, it's been like double, it's been like 111 most days, 110 degrees. Just so, so hot. And it's been kind of hard to enjoy because it's just been just too warm. But we're in September now, fall is on its way. And it was about 78, 80 degrees early today. <laughs> yes, like at 6 a.m., yes. But it felt so good. So drop me a comment. Where are you in the world? If you're somewhere like in the Midwest, I wonder what the weather is like. Like when you first come out in the a.m., let's say it's 6 a.m., it's probably already getting kind of crisp, cool. Or, or are you in Canada? Are you in Hawaii? Are you in the Philippines? Like where are you? But that's my first tip for you. It's going to just help bring you into the present moment so then your worries wash away and you're just letting the sun heal you. You're getting your vitamin D. It's natural and, and we were made to be outside. And so when we connect back to nature, we instantly feel better. So the second part of my morning routine, something that I'll do that'll instantly put me in a better mood is make my bed. And I'm so guilty of not doing this every day, but I promise you, if you just simply make your bed, you're gonna have a better day. It, it does something to your mood where you just instantly feel more productive. And it took not very long to do, it took what, two to three minutes, but it's just you getting your day in order. It's you taking the right step. Like if you do nothing right for the rest of the day, you did that. It shifts your mindset where it's like, okay, the day has officially started. I'm more prepared for the day. It just helps you feel good. It's a small, small productive thing you can do that's gonna put you on the right track. So even if you're exhausted, you're still tired, and you lay on it, it's all made. Like you're gonna you're gonna be cold, your feet are gonna be cold, so you're gonna end up getting up and starting your day. You're not gonna feel very comfortable. If you actually pass out on top of your made bed, you know you probably just need some more rest. <laughs> but most likely you won't. Maybe you need an extra five, ten minutes, and then you're up and at them, right? Yeah, so it's also just feng shui so when you're looking at your room you're seeing that it's like a clean space and i love a clean bed like literally nothing on the bed so then i can throw my laundry on there get it done real quick or whatever i have left to do sit down to put my shoes on like whatever i'm doing but if i just have a clean surface it just sets me up like instantly better mood instant happiness 
morning routine. We're winning right now. So a healthy part of a morning routine does include exercise. And this is something that I'm becoming more diligent about, more serious about, because I think that as I'm getting older, I realize how better it makes me feel physically. So when I was younger, I really didn't have a care in the world and you didn't cap, I wasn't a gym head, is that what they call it? I wasn't worried about that. I ran away from running, but now I'm seeing like, okay, well, if I wanna keep my figure right, I have to put in work. And just like we do emotional healing and we're on our spiritual path, celibacy journey, whatever the case is, when it comes to our physical body, we have to put in effort and put in work. And exercise is something that it hurts in the moment. Maybe it doesn't always feel so good when you're doing it, but after it's going to feel amazing. You're going to feel rejuvenated, refreshed. You're going to be healthier and your body deserves it. So it's all about the mindset that you carry with you when it comes to exercising. So start with like a really deep stretch and this is how we care for ourselves and working our physical body because it was designed to thrive but we have to exert energy because as humans our lifestyle these days is so different like it's we've our lifestyle is not conducive to health so we have to put in the effort back in the day we were outside more we were walking everywhere we were harvesting our own food so that alone is like you working we were just moving around a lot more so no people didn't have to like exercise schedule it in like their whole day was active but now in today's lifestyle you have to schedule it in for your health because if you don't you're gonna feel achy you're gonna gain weight you're gonna all these things that we don't need and we don't have time for <laughs> okay so for your own health and for your mental wellness fit in some exercise and it depends on you as a person this might look like walking this might look like running sprinting high impact low impact weight lifting or um, resistant bands is something that I've been doing whether you're watching a YouTube video working out or you're outside in the Sun but just sweating is your friend if you can get this as a part of your morning routine you're gonna feel so good about yourself I know it seems like it doesn't make sense like when you're when you're exercising, you're exerting effort. So it's like, oh, well, I'm gonna make myself tired before the rest of my day even starts, but it actually gives you energy. So, especially if you're feeling stressed out, especially if you're in a bad mood, it's gonna instantly boost your vibration. You guys, and I learned from this doctor that if you are feeling stressed out, then get up and walk, get up and move around. And it, it we have to, be conscious of these things because let's say something is stressing you out energetically you might feel weighed down and so then you don't want to move it might be your it's might be feel natural to clam up or like just want to soothe yourself just want to like you know stay still but do the opposite get up and walk and that's going to be the healthiest thing for your body and so that you don't gain weight and it it's just healthier. It's, it has something to do with the chemicals that are happening in our body. So if you're feeling stressed out, even if you're at work or something like that, get up and just take a little walk, pace back and forth and focus on your breathing. This is gonna help you feel better and calmer. Okay, so to replenish yourself, hydrate. This is so important every single AM, just hydrate hydration is key you do not need to eat as i'm not a doctor i'm telling you it has helped me it's helped me lose weight it's helped me feel good fasting and i'm gonna always remind us of this and remind myself and just like dr berg do you guys know him he always says fasting is more important than dieting and so for your health even if you're not trying to lose weight for your health fast we don't need to get up and stuff some food in our mouth like we need to get up and breathe and hydrate so cold water or room temperature water whatever is your vibe lemon water salt water because we need like pink himalayan salt in the water because that's how our cells absorb the water so that our cells get hydrated because if you've noticed sometimes you can drink water but if it doesn't have the electrolytes then you're not you still feel thirsty so if you put a little bit of pink salt in there not that fake white salt real raw 
sea salt, grind some into your ice water, that's what I do, and throw some lime in there or lemon if you prefer hot water because if you do warm hot water or hot water with lemon and salt that's going to make you use the bathroom really good so really fast and so you're like cleansing your system it's helping you to clear your mind so that you can focus for the day or even if it's just like a weekend or you're relaxing for that day you still want to start the day hydrated and then after we have our water we can treat ourselves like my personal morning routine looks like I look forward to my cup of coffee every single day. When I'm behaving myself, then I make sure that I don't add the, the funny creamers with all the natural flavors and all that. Even though I do the oat creamer, I still would read, I always read the back of the bottle to see, okay, what am I consuming? Do I really need to have sunflower oil and all these other things? Canola oil, like I don't buy any with canola oil, but I'm just saying, what's your vibe? You know, turmeric latte or tea? I love iced tea because it's summer, right? So like cold tea infused with like raspberries or lime, like black tea with lime is really good. There's so many things we can do. So mix it up, but it's part of our morning routine. Like we don't want to um, be so busy. Like this was me back in the day. So busy that I barely have time to take a shower, brush my teeth, throw on some little bit of lip gloss run out the door and haven't hydrated haven't stretched haven't the sun i see the sun on the way to my car it's like going from building to car to building to be in front of a computer all day to go back and you don't come outside till it's dark outside sit in traffic go back in the house like that is setting us up for dis-ease that is the truth okay I'm, I'm not here to tell you lies i'm here to tell you the truth to stay healthy to feel good to be in alignment with our natural selves, we need to get back in touch with the natural rhythms of life. So that means our face in the sunlight, not in a rush, but in, with intention, us hydrating, us drinking natural things that are not full of sugar. But at the same time, you can indulge yourself, but just make sure you hydrate first and try not to eat solid food for a while. Like try not to have food until 11 a.m. or noon even. And if you do, start it with the raw food, just grapes and a mandarin, an apple, fresh strawberries, frozen cherries, a bunch of blueberries and like almonds, like something that is naturally grown from the earth with the hydration, if you had a cup of coffee and then you have some, like, something like that, you're setting yourself up in a proper way so that by the time that you eat again, like you're actually hungry, drop me a comment like what's your go-to drink in the AM, right? And you, none of you better tell me like Coke Zero or something like that, no. <laughs> okay, my loves, so a bad moment does not have to mean a whole bad day. So the last tip that I have for you is to ground yourself. Grounding, super important. Tell me, have you heard of grounding? There is um, a movie on it. I think it's called Earthing. And I know that if you're watching a channel like this, you're probably already aware of grounding, but I'm going to just remind us that it's super healing to our body. Scientifically, it's been proven now. But even when you just tap in, your intuition is going to reveal this to you, that we're connected to the earth. Our physical body literally turns to dust when we die, like when our bodies, when we're done with this time on earth and our spirit goes <laughs> and it leaves the body, it returns to dust, it returns to Gaia because we're here as a part of Gaia. So everything is connected. We're literally connected to nature. And so then nature will literally heal you. The foods will reverse any disease. And whenever you're feeling off, your mood is feeling off plant your bare feet on the natural land on the grass walk on the grass barefoot walk on if you're lucky enough to live by a beach go walking on the beach because it's going to take away the negativity from your mood from your body it's going to balance you inside so these this is not just woo woo this is this, these are facts, but also try it out for yourself and see how you feel. So 10 to 15 minutes of grounding each day, it's going to heal your body, it's going to heal your mind, and you're going to feel good from the inside out. It's going to start you connected to the earth, right? You're in the sun, even if it's colder. And it gives you moments to yourself so that you can spend some time with yourself and release.
release your worries you know like a lot of times we are looking to, to the future we're thinking about what's going to happen next or what's happened before and that can steal the joy that we can feel in this present moment the your life is happening right now that you can feel happiness right now but feel it like be present with yourself in this moment and then you realize that there's nothing to worry about there's nothing to fear because in this moment you're safe in this very moment everything is okay when you allow it to be so you're allowed to feel happy you're allowed to feel peaceful there's this these little things that we can do that are going to help us to feel happy right away so i hope these tips helped you in one way or another drop me a comment let me know your thoughts i'm sending you so much love and healing and power on your journey take care of yourself and i'll see you in my next video Love you give, it can't be the